What's happening guys? Welcome back to another reaction. In today's video, we are checking out Mamamoo's Paint Me and Starry Night. Now, these music videos, I checked them out about a week ago and Paint Me was about two or three weeks ago as I'm reacting to Mamamoo TV on Patreon. And as I'm reacting to the episodes, I'm also reacting to the music videos that are featured in the episodes rather. So if there's like a behind the scenes episode on one of the music videos, I first check out the music video and then check out the episodes on Mamamoo TV. And obviously we got now to season four, which focuses on Starry Night and season three, there was obviously some focus on Paint Me. So I wanted to share those two reactions with you guys here on YouTube and not just on Patreon because those two music videos were number one, absolutely beautiful. And obviously Starry Night is one of the more memorable Mamamoo songs uh, especially I remember hearing that chorus before ever getting into this music video and Paint Me was so incredibly beautiful uh, vocally as well as visually and obviously Starry Night shot in New Zealand and everything. It, it was truly, truly wonderful. So the structure of this video is going to be a little bit off. There's going to be, you know, some weird transitions from one music video reaction to the next. But uh yeah, I just wanted to share those two reactions with you guys. And uh, there is some pausing throughout the Paint Me reaction. So that is just a quick warning. Whereas in Starry Night, I believe I watched the music video first and then talk a little bit about uh, the music video itself. So without further ado, if you guys enjoy this content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions, including Mamamoo content like Mamamoo TV. Uh, their episode on Netflix's Take One, Where Are We Now documentary, as well as, of course, Quindom. There's a full list of reactions in the tier on Patreon that you can check out without ever needing to sign up. So check out the list. And if you see something that you may like, consider subscribing. And uh, let's start off with Paint Me. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy I don't know how do they keep getting away with making like this uh, selective color effect look actually really, really nice. Like they make it very meaningful. Usually like selective color effects don't look necessarily the greatest and there's a little bit of eefiness uh, as, as far as like some of the edges on Wasa's uh, sleeves and whatnot but overall like portraying the colors that I'm painted with as expressing those emotions that I felt is a really really cool touch and, and they're they're using that, but they're not necessarily overusing that effect and they're using it on a white uh, background as well. So it kind of helps sell the effect as opposed to if it was on another background, another color, it will look a little bit iffy. It's not the first time that they did that. Obviously, they did that with, uh, was it Piano Man? They also had that, which looked at times a little bit iffy, but uh, I kind of don't blame the production. I It's more so just the times and how, uh, you know, it was more difficult to do that stuff back then. But here it looks absolutely awesome because it's more minimal and there's less less details happening behind the scenes, uh, which is cool. Anyway. Wasa is looking... There's Moonbill. 
Oh, the clouds. Holy shit, that is beautiful. Oh, I love hearing Moonbyul sing. That was so incredible. Let's take this back. Because she's talking about blue, the color blue as far as depression and sadness, but her the color of her hair is red, which represented, you know, representing uh, love, passion, and, uh, but also in, in this case, kind of anger because I'm crying because of you. So it's really, really cool. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Oh my god, it was Kind of reminds me of watercolor with Ween. Holy shit. Whoa, like an espresso? Dark? <laughs> wow. Holy shit, that was, that was incredible. Wow. Don't make any empty spaces. Keep painting as they express all of these various emotions of yellow being like the warmth that I felt, the red, the love and the passion, the blue, the, the sadness and the, uh, the depression, the crying, uh, different memories equate to different colors as they're standing in almost like this thunderstorm like it's okay if if things get dark damn it's okay if i get darker is what they're saying as there's literally a thunderstorm going on in that scene as they're dressed in black like it's okay to have sadness and depression in your life just don't stop painting don't stop creating new memories. And even like the black and white pianos, there's almost like a, a contrast. Uh, when Ween, I believe, is standing behind Wasa, Ween is in, in white, Wasa is in black too. Again, much like those pianos, like there, there's there's good and there's bad, there's, there's light and there's darkness. Uh, and it's okay to have that because you can always create new memories and you can al always paint with fresh colors to kind of throw it forward i guess with ween's watercolor uh, where she's saying like the freshest colors and the most uh, you know uh there were lyrics like the more colors the better and, and and stuff like that i just loved the way each of them represent a different color obviously but also the part with uh with solar who is singing about the color blue but her hair is actually red it's almost like the 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 passion that has kind of 
the red with Moonbill represents like the love and the passion, but the red with we uh, with Solara's hair is almost like representing like the anger in a way that I'm feeling because I'm crying over you, like experiencing all of these various emotions, uh, going from happy to sad to 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 the the purity with with Ween, uh, as they're talking about my, I believe it was like the lyrics, white when I was without you, like an empty canvas, uh, until I met you. So it could be a relationship. It could be like Mama Mood himself. It could be like a fan song until I met, met you until you became part of my life. We can take it whatever, which way you want. Honestly, it fits all of those scenarios. Like my life was an empty canvas until I met you. Now who that you is. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. It could be whoever you want it to be. A friend, a lover, a fan, uh, whatever relationship uh, that you can kind of think of, it fits. Uh, so uh, your love for me painted that empty canvas that was my life, which is really, really beautiful. I absolutely adored this song. And then almost like this... When they're together, as they're they're singing, keep painting me as there's almost like this glow, almost like a sunset happening. But then to contrast that with with them dressed in black and a little bit of white, and they're surrounded by all all, all of this like thunderstorm. Like it's okay when the colors are getting darker, just don't stop and keep on painting, uh, which is really really incredible. Uh, it's a, an amazing song. Holy shit. And their vocals are absolutely stunning. Uh, Moonbill's uh, singing is always uh, is always welcome. She, she's phenomenal. And uh, I, I obviously my eye was mostly drawn to Wasa because it's Wasa. But all of them looked absolutely uh, phenomenal. And just uh, this kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Decal Kamine because, you know, a, a perfect image. So there's like a painting with symmetry and whatnot. And this kind of talks a little bit about you know painting again and Ween's watercolor and uh like different colors different emotions uh and uh yeah and you are my only painter again could refer to whoever it is that you wanted to refer to because it fits so many uh it, it, who is the painter is an x you know and that x could be whatever you want it to be lover friend fan fans uh and, and or yourself even like you are your own only painter only you can make yourself feel better uh you things get dark and shitty when you're depressed think think get get, get bright and colorful when you feel happy like it can be a relationship that you have with yourself also which is really really cool in my book paint me was absolutely uh incredible it was it was truly a beautiful song with a very simple but yet very effective uh music video uh, i think like because it's like the, the lyrics and the vocals speak more volumes than to have some super elaborate music video even though some of the scenes with the thunderstorm and everything uh some of the scenes were really really cool but they didn't go overboard it was symbolic and it was powerful but the main thing from that music video that you really remember is the lyrics and it's uh, it's the the powerful vocals of Mamamoo and just uh and their visuals as well uh obviously uh absolutely beautiful yeah that's beautiful that's Wasa. And I understand that uh, Mundio actually was one of the writers for the song. Nice. 
Chat. This is beautiful. Holy smokes, like that, that field almost, like I know it's real, but it, it, it almost looks fake with how incredible it is. Like it, that's, holy shit. Damn. Oh, that's beautiful. Awesome. So a lot of stare is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Man, this melody is just intoxicating. Okay, so this music video is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the chorus is incredibly mesmerizing and much like some of the lyrics say, like the feelings that I have, intoxicated by the feelings, this chorus is incredibly intoxicating. And the add-on of that vocal melody on top of that chorus, it almost feels like it's not supposed to work and yet it does, uh, which creates a very trippy, almost like this trippy effect, uh, basically. Uh, some of the symbolisms with the moon, uh, which as far as I understand, like new moon, like possibly symbolizing like new beginnings and ending of something old, like the moon phase and whatnot. So um, as they're trying to forget and be left alone by this person, by the feelings of this person. So it's almost like they're kind of like talking to the person as they're staring at the camera. There's a lot of shots of them looking into the camera, looking beautiful, looking vulnerable almost as if uh and it's almost like the camera is the extension to the person that they're speaking to as they're trying to get over those feelings even though my hands are cold it's already spring where uh some of the lyrics which is really really beautiful like to symbolize the the sadness and the coldness that i feel even though the season physically is different what i feel inside of me is so uh opposite of the warmth that I'm supposed to feel. There's also a really cool lyric by Moonbyul, as much as I removed you from, from my body, 
the tube water becomes the lingering feelings and overflows. Like my feelings are overflowing even though you're not next to me. I cannot escape you from my mind as they talk about the starry nights. And almost like the, the stars in the night uh, that symbolize all symbolizing all of the uh, nights that we shared together, which was really, really beautiful. And uh, there there's definitely a lot of, every time the girls are like alone, it's like representing like beauty, but there's sadness and darkness within it. As well as, and it's something that I actually didn't realize beforehand. Uh, Starry Night is actually the name of a painting, a famous painting by Van Gogh. Obviously, I know of the painting, but I guess I forgot what what was the name of it. And the interesting part is that I see a little, now that I looked into the painting and somebody analyzed that painting and talked about the color scheme and how it could put off a dark, relaxing, or a peaceful feeling, depending on who's uh, watching that painting, who's experiencing that painting. And the person that talked about it also said that the starry night has a dark state, a dark sense of state, but yet the couple touches of light blue and yellow bring out a peaceful and tranquil feeling into the image and that's what i felt about this music video in a way especially like the blues at the end as the girls are dancing together and are feeling almost like there's sense of happiness and sense of freedom uh the blue doesn't feel cold the blue actually feels the opposite it feels like they're getting over it is obviously the following song that still features footage of Starry Night talks about basically uh, my dad once told me if you laugh once two of your worries will disappear and that's where I find my way back in life so I will get over it as we see them like kind of like in the wild basically I will release myself back into the wild and I will live again and I will no longer be intoxicated by those feelings. As literally, Moonbill says, leave me alone as it goes from sunset to a starry night. A lot of the shots, like whether it's Solar with, with the white dress, like to represent possibly like the purity and also her hair possibly representing that as well. There's also a beautiful lyric or scenery sets, but I deny reality as Moonbill says, leave me alone. And literally we see the four members of Mamamoo and the sun is setting uh, on them. And then when Bill says, leave me alone and it goes dark and the girls dance in like this uh, dark blue, uh, almost like post sunset uh, or, or uh, pre uh, sunrise uh, scenery, which no longer represents like sadness, which in the beginning, my cold, my hands are cold, but it's, it's spring already. Whereas here it feels cold, but they're almost like happy. So it's almost like the blue represents like a shift uh, in their in their mindset. We also have Moonbill on uh, sitting on that car, the car representing like going on a road trip, uh, representing like being on my road to to to, to forgetting you and, and trying to get over you. There's a lot of absolutely beautiful visuals. Obviously, this was shot in New Zealand. The lyrics are, are wonderful. The girls look absolutely phenomenal. There was like a really contrasty shot as well with Ween and Wasa in the beginning. Ween and Wasa is almost, are almost in like this desert looking place as they talk about the shadow of darkness remains the deep night the the dark night represents like the depression that i'm in and the and the starry night is like the representation of all of the feelings much like the the tube water becomes the lingering feelings and overflows like all those stars are representing our shared memories and 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 everything else it's it's absolutely uh beautiful and uh yeah e even the girls being all walking all alone but yet feeling free as they're in this beauty with new zealand and whatnot uh feeling the the wind uh and it's just really trying to kind of like uh, find uh find their happiness so yeah i if i made any sense let me know in the comment section if not let me know in the comment section what is the actual meaning and uh to me is like getting over uh 
a relationship and being able to not just get over it physically but get over it mentally thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and are doing very well and uh i'll catch you all in the next one see ya